All right, so now it's 3.16. I just shut the other video off. And um, the whole thing with my kid, I just had enough. I had enough. And I had several days, a bad, horrible, that was like a lime yellow green. Weather, uh, pouring, the weather that is the worst possible thing on the face of the earth for an arthritic person. So the doctor, that was beautiful and diamondy, 20 seconds, beautiful. Uh, the doctor said, I'm going to give you prednisone. Try, see, yada, yada, take one. Then I call her or I write to her and I say, this is not the way the rheumatologist wrote it. One is not going to work. And, and I'll be danged between the prednisone, the, the, the way they wrote it, um, where you start high and, and wean, which is awful that you got to do that. And the bad thing is you get, you get big old, what they call Moon. I'm trying not to look up my nose. Every time I play this stuff back, I'm looking up my nose. It looks stupid. I don't even look like me. I should talk like that. Anyway, I don't want a big old moon face. I uh, came out of the hospital. Having this done, I was almost 180. <laughs> and I'm between 125 and 130. Oh, my God. And I had the moon face. The only thing is, what's awesome about that? No angles. They all go away. It could be worse, glass is half full, right? That's what you gotta say, to say thank you God for something every day, including my crooked hands. But as I'm saying, uh, so my daughter's going bad shit, and I just can't take it anymore. I got the toxicity out of my life. I got the negative, and the people that are with me, you know, on a daily basis are Leanne, Jesse, as much as I can see, Lisa in Illinois, and uh, my closest friends, my closest, closest friends. That's it, they're love and light. They bring me up, they bring me higher. I'm getting up and down. I'm losing my shit with her. The pain in my hands is unbelievable. I get three beautiful days. Three be And then today, can't use my hands. Why do you think I was up for over 24 hours or 30 or 40 hours? Because I know the next day, if it's uh, uh, if I get a normal 16-hour day and then go to sleep and get out, get up five, six, seven hours later, can't use my hands. Or I get to use them for about three hours and then they're no longer good. And I just had to dig down deep today and just scream, you know, why, why, why? Here's the question. Here's the left. I mean, yes, I have uh, uh, blains and, you know, they call them, I have angel hair veins, angel hairs. Can't find them. They run away, yada, yada, so what? Um, this hand hurts and it's knobby. See, it's all knobby and bent. And it is kind of throbbing a little bit. But I could look at that. That's like magic. Not, and it's not all the way. Drop everything. I drop it. You know what? That's pretty damn good. That could be improved upon, I bet. Then we have this. These two fingers are perfect. They're perfect. Nothing wrong with them. Um, up in here, the thumb. I used to type 100 words a minute. Not so good. Used to have a trigger finger. So what? And I broke both thumbs a long time ago. These two. And then Leanne talks about blockages. I had two severe shoulder surgeries. Bad. Six months. Uh, I broke it. Let it go for five years. Six months of physical therapy. A wicked ass surgery. It hurt like a mother. Mm, I don't even know. Jesus. I, how I comb my hair and brush my teeth. Six months of therapy after. Finally got it right. Frozen shoulder. The whole thing. Uh, two years later, I go ahead. I rip the shoulder. I rip. I get a full rotator cuff tear. I did not like the doctor. I didn't even go to rehab. I rehabbed myself and I knew not to go. That's when things started happening because that was after my carotid artery surgery. They were going to go with my hands with the needles and I said, you know, you can't find a vein. You know I'm ready to get you can't. Um, I said, why would you do that? It's in case we need to put another needle somewhere else. I said, I have 8,000 veins in my arms. Why don't you start there and find the hand if you need to? And why would you anyway? And he gave me the nastiest smile. And man, I did not want him to cut me. Then they didn't check on me when I was done. This was Dr. Nam Kuhn. And then I rehabbed myself. And I think that was part of how I started getting back in shape and losing the weight. Then uh, those crazy people lived here before the people upstairs. And one day, I don't know, downstairs, upstairs, everything's leaking. All in here is leaking. I don't lock my door. I'm in a secure building. I'm new here. I know everybody. I'm Pippa knows everybody. Some crazy wackadoodle comes running down the hallway. I'm in bed. My daughter's in bed. What if I was stark ass naked? I'm 180 pounds to boot. I don't want to see anybody. Just walks in, starts going, hi, you know me? You know me? You know I am? I work at the hospital. I work at the hospital. And I'm going to take pictures of the floor. Because everything is, oh my gosh, get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out. Crazy. They, they were just like upstairs, they moved, they, they're gone. They, they, they beat a dog, they stretched it up, and they finally got evicted. Then, just a slight, see if anything's going, then they come in. And then uh, that night, the walls, uh, the, the, this was fixed 10 times, the leak, and yada yada. Everything uh, broke, 
They did it. Then Jeremy's been telling me for two months, I'll be there in five minutes. I'll be there in five minutes. You already broke it twice. You already told me, oh, no, we're not going to clean the corporate, you know, housing. Well, it's two, three thousand dollars. You've got to pay for that. The fuck I do. I said, it's got to be painted. Then, then when, look how tiny my, how big is my bathroom? It's like this big, right? Here we go. Okay, so it's about that big. Oh, halfway bent. We're getting there. Now, the reason I'm angry, couldn't use the hands today, so I am forcing it. Motrin after Motrin. You don't give me three good days of joy and then go, let's go back to where it was. Here's a little taste. Uh uh, that's a tease. My back is killing me. I am angry. I am trying to center. I have got Motrin on. Uh, Motrin on. Be- oh my God, see, my brain is not in my head. Beethoven. And I am I'm ready to sit down and chant, use my crystals. But the other thing that really gets me, just gets me right, is cleaning. Cleaning. So this effing bathroom, Leanne took all the stickers off. And I'm going to make another a video for the landlord. This is this is not for disabled people. I'm right-handed, but I don't know. I have monkey arms. I walk like that. What's wrong with me? Ask me how many times I hurt myself right here or right here or catch a corner. Right here. Ask me how many times I come in here. Why do I kick that base? I don't know. I might be... I'm a dancer. I, it's, why do I kick that? It's like it's invisible. And then I wake up. Well, let's not even talk about how I wake up. But I woke up. This is one. And wait till you see what's going to be in my leg. Because I just missed the corner and whacked myself real bad on the end table. All right. Where did it go? No idea how I got that. And then there's more on my legs. And then there's more. Oh, on my ribs and my hips, and it's not that it can't be the baby aspirin, can it? Or do I just like go away, like I've mentioned before? You don't know what I'm doing, or I really feel like I'm traveling and I'm not sleeping when I do sleep because it's like, oh, I'm up and either I gotta sleep the entire day or I gotta continue where I left off. I just don't remember where that was. This shift is insane, insane, but. I cleaned this bathroom for over an hour. An hour. I scrubbed uh, butterflies off the wall. I bleached. I'm not bleaching the walls again. I'm done. Made that. Oh, dear God. You don't know what I did in that tub. Like a crazy bat shit. Maniacal. It was maniacal. I'm maniacal. Lost my effing mind in this bathroom. Thinking of all the things I'm going to say to management. The kid down there. Gonna, to have about four weeks, six weeks now. He'll be right there. Friday tells my daughter, I'll be right there. I'm going to fix everything. My daughter's like, dude, you don't say that in five minutes. I'll be there first thing Monday, he says. Then, um, okay, it's this big. They're going to have to take this out. Like, I trust that. And they need me to be without a toilet for at least five hours. What the fuck? First of all, as if as much water and tea, I, I'm in here every 20 minutes. And that's why I can't sleep at night. And then there's Leanne. There's Pippi. Jesse's always here. Yeah, okay, five hours. And then what? Uh, you saw the walls leaking and because something was done on the toilet upstairs and put in wrong. So you know what? History, dear Jesus, please, Jesus, do not let history repeat itself because that water damage, how much you want to bet other fires here started like that? Hmm? I want to learn how to flip the camera around while I'm talking. No, that's not how you do it. Ooh. Little purple orb on my shirt and I didn't mean to do that. That's really fucking close. Wow. I meant to make it turn around. There it is again. I've been seeing a lot of purple energy. I gotta say it. I gotta know if that's real. Somebody's gotta tell me. Is it one at my head too? No. Or is that a dirt? I, I, man, I windexed the shit out of this mirror. Now, the purpose for my insanity... Uh, and scrubbing every corner. I redid that. I redid that. I hate my towels. Love my bathroom. Like decorating a bathroom is so much fun. And I'm going to make my bedroom and dedicate that to the fairies. That's so much fun too. But part of me wants to be on the other side of the building where there's not all this brick, where it's warm, where it's quiet. And I think because they allow him to live here and shit like this keeps happening. And he keeps saying, I'll be there in five minutes. Yes, this is management saying it. And he just doesn't come. And then one day he came at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I hadn't slept for like two days. What the hell I am getting up? You check with me and you know I'm disabled. And what else are you going to break? And the carpets aren't clean. The walls aren't done. I'm going to fucking paint this shit myself. I really am. I'm going to enjoy doing it. My girlfriend's going in. I'm going to change all the doorknobs. 
I'm gonna round all this shit out, and what's gonna happen if I move out? They're just gonna go ahead and fucking pay it anyway, aren't they? So, point being today, that my anger came out making that bathroom look awesome. Now, uh, uh, it's too small though. I need a new washer and dryer. Then I started thinking, you know what, with the readings, I need a sign. Because I need too many things, there's definitely not enough for me to live on. My daughter's like ready to fly the coop, you know, because she knows it all. And I don't make it, I'm just gonna, if you don't make it, that shouldn't even be a thought. There was no such thing as don't make it when I was a kid. Three jobs, competitions, New York City, Queens, Brooklyn, Jersey, won every one of them. Uh, I went to AMDA, and I won every hair contest I ever went into. I got my license at, well, 17, but before everybody else did, like by months, and I took my state boards in under seven minutes, and I got almost perfect score, and I did it again 10 years later in Nevada without ever opening a book, did it again in like 20 minutes and got an 86 after over 10 years of not studying, you know, the uh, theory, just doing the practical. It's the kind of thing, though, once you get it and you remember you know what your pores do. You know what the different types of hair. What you can do is continue your education, make yourself better. But I'm going on a tangent right now. I also cleaned the bedroom like you wouldn't believe. My back is killing me. I'm really upset with my kid today. I'm really upset with management. I'm really upset with housing. And, uh... Hearing the different stories of the different people that live here and how downstairs had to force them to replace the carpet. They live here seven years. And how mean some people are in the building and what they do and what they get away with. It's very rare they throw somebody out, but I just want a tech guy to live up the stairs. I want like Ed up there. I don't want quiet. Or I want to be moved to, I want to get, to make a fifth floor, make it a penthouse, have several bedrooms, craft room, move room, yada, yada. Starlight, you know, and some whatever on the roof, roof parties only for me and my family and whoever I live in. Own separate entrance. I think that would be awesome. A room with the pole and ribbon for pole and ribbon dancing. And a uh, uh, bathroom with a skylight so I could look at the full moon in a jacuzzi bathtub. And um, I want the closet in my bedroom to be like a Macy's <laughs> women's section. And uh, my bathroom, I want the toilet separate from the shower. I want the shower to light up multi-colors. I want four heads. I want a bathtub that doesn't hurt my bony ass. I don't plan on staying bony. And I don't want to cut, open the mirror in. Can you see that? Yeah. I, I use the mirror. That's from the mirror. That's from clipping the corners. And that's from missing the corners here. Not to mention the black eye from walking face first into a wall. Maybe I forgot it was there. I don't know. Oh my god, that's fucking stinging like a motherfucker. It hurts. I gotta meditate and pray. And I don't, I did, my ears are ringing like you wouldn't believe. It's very loud in here. Very loud. And I'm, I use color also to center and energy flow. For the past two days, I can feel discombobulated. It wasn't right in here. I needed things needed to be moved and changed. And uh, I couldn't stop. It was like out of my body and, you know, if my body wasn't physically able to do it anymore, something else took over and did it. I could feel energy flow, which is why I can't go to like the grocery store, not often anyway. Wow, I get sick. I get so sick when I'm out. People, and sometimes I could do it and some, man, it sucks. When it was pouring, I was going to take that out even though I really can't. My daughter's been in down like five times. There's the garbage. She's going to go. Told her she can't come back, just in case I gotta rent the room out. Hey, Angel. Carpets, how long am I waiting for these to be done? So, praising Jesus, they don't smell like mildew. And then they replaced all the tile, which is wet and coming back up. See, they didn't do the floor. They just did that, and they never fixed the problem. And I'm thinking, I can't, I'm worth more than that. I am worth more than that, because it aggravates me every time I look at it. Because my house is really full of color and light and love and my energy and... It may be pish, posh, mish, mosh, but this all screams Joan. And it's without a man in my life, and it's without somebody taking every dime that I make and every dime he makes disappearing for three days, never paying. Yeah, it was hell. Let me tell you, it was bad. 
I've always wanted the photos up and, and um, you know, for it to always be clean when you walk in. Oh, yeah, you're going to cook. Yeah, you're going to leave a glass. Yes, the bathroom is like, Jesus Christ, 18 times, sweet Lord, I can clean and it's still not clean. That's at least my OCD, how I feel anyway. And then the bedroom, I mean, huge. Um, this is too, too tight for me. I get hurt on this wall. I don't know what's wrong with me. This broke all by itself. Now the door just keeps opening whenever it wants to. Dryer goes on whenever it wants to, too. The light in the hallway goes on whenever it wants to. TV changes itself, and so is the laptop. And then the lights come out of this wall as well, and out of the mirror. And then the anomalies, now they go through Jesus in that wall, too. And they fly right at my face on the bed. They fly out that window. They come from under the pillows. And I'm thinking maybe we'll find one. All right, 15 minutes in, a lot to go through. I think that I am going to, here's my angel, something's going on. I got to put it down anyway, my, my back hurts. Maybe we'll come back here and uh, the action was at the front door. It's really loud. Maybe I'll bring my crystals and do my Nami Renge Kyo here. That was gold. That was gold. Next one, I'm going to record five minutes in slow-mo. This way you can play it back the good way on the YouTube. Peace, love, and light. I'll be back in a few. Mm.